attention now to the eastern shore. A fight over a food truck has led to a public dispute over whether the truck's owner's rights are being violated. All right, this all happening in the quiet town of Parksley in Accomack County. News 3 reporter Brendan Ponton went up there to figure out what is going on. The Ebenezer food truck opened in the town of Parksley last June, and shortly after that, the owners say they began getting harassed, and now they're suing the town and a council member saying their rights are being violated. To serve a growing Haitian population here on the eastern shore, Desla Benoit and Clement Bastion opened a grocery store in 2019 in the town of Parksley, and in June 2023, they opened a food truck right next to the store. But the Haitian immigrants say soon after, they began feeling unwelcome. The two spoke through a translator this week outside of the Norfolk Federal Courthouse. I feel a wound and I feel a deep wound and I don't know when this wound will ever heal. In a 50 page lawsuit they've now filed, they allege town councilman Henry Nicholson engaged in harassing behavior because he was upset. They opened their food truck for fear it would hurt the business of existing restaurants, including an incident where they say Nicholson tried to block a delivery truck from reaching them. When Clement confronted him, he told her to go back to her own country. Then in October, the town council voted to ban permanent food trucks. At first, the couple thought they could keep their food truck open until May when their business license expires. But they say they received this letter in November from the town attorney telling them they could face criminal charges for operating the truck. Since then, it's been closed. They did all kinds of things against me, against my operation. It would take the whole day for me to explain that to you. The lawsuit seeks damages from the town and Nicholson, and they want the court to rule their rights have been violated. We tried to get a response from town officials, including the town attorney and mayor, who did not respond. We did talk to Nicholson at his appliance store in town, and he told us no comment. According to town council minutes from the October vote, the mayor said the owners had illegally connected the food truck to the town's septic supply, dumped water illegally, and dumped grease behind the food truck. But the owners say they've complied with everything that's been requested of them and decided to work with a law firm called the Institute for Justice to sue the town in federal court. Now, I know that this justice will come. I don't know how long it will take and I don't know how long it will take for my scars to heal. But I know that one day both will come. As here in this town of under a thousand people, a public fight over a food truck and what the owners say are their constitutional rights. In Parksley, Brendan Ponton, News 3.